This poor girl is having to go through all this trauma between Gabby Hanna all while being pregnant and I officially have no words. It was a very, very bizarre summer last summer and now this summer as well. This whole situation has now become so traumatic for not only Jessie Smiles, but also other YouTubers who've recently had to come out because Gabby Hanna decided to bring up old trauma for her 13 part oh. series. Yeah, she is now being petitioned to get off the internet. There's a lot to unpack in today's video, so let's get into it. This week, Gabby Hanna uploaded a video in response to Jessie Smiles leaking her phone call between her and Gabby Hanna, where Gabby Hanna's true colors were shown in the phone call and exposed how Gabby was demanding an apology from her ex-best friend Jessie Smiles, who unfortunately had gotten rid want a public apology that that should never have been made public. That's not gonna happen, so I, I understand. Okay, so then we keep going. Gabby ended up making things only worse for herself after no one was here for her reaction towards the leaked phone call, since at that point, no one even wanted to bother hearing her reaction to the video, since Gabby's true colors were already shown throughout the phone call. And guys, what's even more sad is that Jessie Smiles posted a couple of weeks ago how she doesn't want to be in any more drama involving Gabby Hanna. Since not only is she pregnant and trying to live her life, but she also doesn't want to be constantly reminded of the trauma that she had to go through with her rape. And since Gabby Hanna didn't stop talking about Jessie Smiles and decided to keep bringing up her drama in not only interviews but also in her series, as well as a full on dedicated video reacting to the phone call, even though Jessie asked to not be involved anymore, Gabby did otherwise, and that is why Jessie Smiles decided to drop another video this week titled Gabby Hanna Will Never Stop. Towards the beginning of this video, Jessie Smiles pointed out how Gabby Hanna's fans accused her friend Jen Den of being a little girl that was apparently all a lie just so that Gabby Hanna could try to publicly make Jen Dem, Jesse Smalls' friend who is always supporting her, look like a bad friend. And then Gabby did what Gabby does best and she searched her mind for the most heinous shit she could tell me and that was, dude, Jen a little girl though and I literally was like, what the f is wrong with you and she's like oh have you seen the evidence it's dark there are multiple times that gabby has just racked her brain for like what would piss jesse off the most right now jesse also later pointed out in a long heartfelt message to gabby about how she felt super uncomfortable and manipulated by gabby because it seemed like gabby was trying to make jesse do things out of her own will and use her trauma against her at the same time and guess how gabby responded to jesse's message her a pretty long text message that was was relaying how uncomfortable it made me feel that she was trying to manipulate me to do things that she wanted by holding our past over my head. I thought that that was awful and that also I was really disturbed with the information that I had found out about Curtis and about her relationship to him and I wanted to be concise with my thoughts and honest and just try to get my point across as best I can and Gabby didn't even read the message. She's like, oh, that's a novel. Like... <laughs> My God. It gets worse. Throughout the rest of this video, Jessie explained how she was going to end up responding to Gabby and try to debunk all her lies. Here were some of the main points Jessie pointed out about Gabby Hanna and her tactics. Gabby Hanna has, against my will, delivered my truth one too many times and pardon my French, but she's it up every time. So if Gabby feels like she can talk about my trauma, she can bring it up, she can talk about the night I was raped, and that has literally nothing to do with this. If she has the right to do that, then I feel like I have the right to be sitting here and talking about what really happened. She's predictable. I have to be honest, I genuinely don't understand this statement at all. Gabby started creating this series in March. She started filming this series in March. Do you know what I was doing in March? Definitely not talking about Gabby Hanna. March is actually the month I found out I was pregnant. Me and my family went on vacation to a cabin here in Georgia. If by predictable, you mean that you knew once I saw your series videos on me, which God knows what they're gonna say in them, that I would feel upset and use a phone call that proves that you lied about the relationship that you had to the man that me, then yes, I guess it's predictable that I would want to defend myself in a situation where you were gonna release information that either wasn't true or that triggered me. Gabby doesn't understand is that every single time I have ever spoken about Gabby, I have never 
in my life just gone around saying things about Gabby that never happened or making things up in the way that she's done to me. And you're just saying all these insane allegations and everybody's going over to my Instagram page on my son's birthday and being like, oh, you're such a horrible mother. I feel horrible for your children. And I'm like, I just find it ridiculous that she acts like she's some sort of genius for seeing into the future and knowing that I was gonna use this phone call. Gabby, when you push people and push people and push people and then proceed to dedicate two episodes to them in a series, yeah, they just might defend themselves. You're not a genius for figuring out that I was gonna use that phone call in which you admit that you've been lying for the last year to defend myself. Gabby views me leaving in the part of me crying as me trying to invoke an emotional response. I'm not even sure who thinks like that. When people are emotional, do you think that they're just trying to manipulate people? She thought the same thing about my 2019 video. I'm trying to manipulate with my emotions and I just don't know why she thinks of people that way, why she thinks of human beings that way. I just had a miscarriage in January. I'm halfway done with my pregnancy and I looked at my husband and I'm like, I haven't even enjoyed it. I don't deserve to have to be addressing this topic anymore. She also pointed out how Gabby couldn't even keep up with her own lies because Gabby kept saying that she never hung out with Curtis, but also admitted that she did by showing a photo of their picture together. I have zero association with Curtis Laporte. I think I only saw him like two or three times. One was at an event in Hollywood. That's where he was like, hey Gabby Show, can I get a pic? And took those pictures. And then afterwards, the same night, everybody from the event went to the diner across the street. And then he was taking pictures of Zayn and I, like implying that he was there with us. The scary part about this, you guys, is that earlier this week, Gabby Hanna referred to all of this as drama, which obviously made Jesse feel super offended. Just take a look at what Gabby had to say in her recent podcast. A DM to somebody, I was like, I used the word, uh, well, I can't remember the sentence, but I said um, maybe around the time of the drama is probably a sentence like that where I like, I didn't know a quick way to say the situation and like in shorthand, I called it drama and then i got completely like chewed out for saying calling it drama like oh so this is just drama to you and i'm like that's i just thought that's the word we all used for fucking a like yeah. dead ass because that's yeah. what everybody called mine the so like situation. i wasn't trying to say like oh it's just drama i was saying isn't that what you guys call this like dead ass like they conditioned me to feel like a drama and then when i said it it was like shame on you drama she's referring to is my and the media and public fallout from it in 2014 when i was her and bullied for years over ever speaking up. She said she felt isolated being my friend around that time. Her message was to a 15-year-old girl. This is gross. After Jesse's video, Gabby went trending once again with many people giving their final thoughts on Gabby Hanna and her true colors. Here's what many people had to say. Gabby Hanna has no more moves. She tried it over and over again. It failed. Jesse Smells debunked everything. It's done. Gabby Hanna has no more receipts to twist. Wishing Jessie Smiles a happy rest of her pregnancy. Gabby Hanna is not a victim of Jessie Smiles. Gabby is the bully in her If there's anyone who still can't see that, I can't help you. The fact that Jessie Smiles tried to convey her trauma in her most vulnerable state through text message and Gabby Hanna replied with, I only read the intro, shows how cold and cruel Gabby is. This is narcissistic abuse at its best. Anyways, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.